Dr. NGR Educational and Research Institute, University, Madhuraboyal Channa. everyone we are back again with interesting webinar thank you for joining us for today's webinar i am ms nandini kuti teaching assistant at dr mj education and research institute dr mj education and research institute is one of the leading institutions in tamil nadu it's indeed a great honor for me to host today's program today's webinar is on the topic fashion and movies and today's topic is presented by mr s a rafiulla stylist come actor now i welcome upon mrs m ahmeda begum head of the fashion design department of dr m j r education and research institute phase 2 to deliver the welcome address thank you ms nandini kuti good evening to one and all present here it gives me immense pleasure to perform the duty of welcoming the gathering on behalf of the department of fashion design i would like to render a warm welcome to our founder chancellor ac shanmugam and our beloved president engineer ac s arun kumar for the motivation and support given to conduct this webinar i cordially welcome our vice president dr n k padmanabhan for his encouragement i am really privileged in welcoming our vice chancellor dr s geeta lakshmi for gracing her presence for today's webinar she has been the pillar of support and motivation i feel proud in welcoming you ma'am I would also like to welcome our eminent pro vice chancellor Dr. Ravi Chandran, our provost Dr. G. Gopalakrishnan, our register Dr. C. B. Parani Velu, and our joint register HNS Dr. Malini Pandey for their encouragement and support. On behalf of the Department of Fashion Design, Adiyalambar to face to campus, I welcome you all. I also extend my heartfelt gratitude to our joint register Dr. S. Ramaligam, our dean Dr. S. Maniwanan, and the deputy dean Dr. V. M. Rajavarman for being the pillar of support. I would also welcome Mr. Nadim, Director, Institute of Design, and all the heads and staff members of the institute. We have the among us our distinguished personality, the speaker of today's webinar, Mr. Rafiullah, who is a designer, a stylist, and an actor with more than 20 years of experience in the field of fashion. He was honored as the best student from ATDC South by the Hunar Kasapur Magazine, published by Textile Development Authority. He was the chief guest at Gandhi Gram University for textile department. He has done lot of roles in serials as well as movies. I feel honored in welcoming you, sir. I also welcome our beloved participants who have registered for our webinar from all over the nation. My dear participants, the feedback link will be shared at the end of the session. You can post your queries in the chat box at the end. While to have have if you have any clarifications, I welcome you all once again for the webinar. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, ma'am. It was indeed a very pleasing addressing given by you. Now I would like to welcome upon Dr. S. Geeta Lakshmi, Vice Chancellor of Dr. M. J. R. Education and Research Institute, to deliver the inaugural address. A very good afternoon, uh, and really, it's, uh, again, I'm into this uh, webinar for the second time from the Department of Fashion Designing. and uh, thanks to the department uh, head of the department mr mrs begum and uh, the dean manivannan and uh, mr ramalingam and the other uh, the joint registrars who, who are uh, there to uh, make this happen today and uh, 
I should thank our uh, vice president, I mean, uh, president and our chairman uh, for giving a free hand to the faculty to conduct these kind of uh, knowledgeable and uh, webinars uh, where we, the participants and the faculty would learn. And uh, as, a, I, uh, as a doctor, uh, uh, graduated from uh, Stanley Medical College and uh, being into the medical profession for uh, 35 years, uh, um, uh, we are also interested uh, not only in the medicine profession, but also in other professions, uh, like particularly in the fashion designing. I used to wonder, like, uh, I usually tell all padi, adai padi, abdindrada in order no come. So, uh, so this uh, kind of uh, fashion designing in uh, the uh, in any field, uh, wherever we go, uh, it makes us to visible by people uh, because of our new kind of uh, trendy dresses. Uh, but uh, trendy dresses as also do have its own advantage and disadvantages also. But it has to suit one. Uh, individual uh, uh, about, uh, of uh, his physique and his character. So it, it, more, it shows the physique and the character of a person when they wear these kind of fashion designing wears. So that would be um, the, my, the, my thought, my thinking. So I should thank the fashion designing department uh, for conducting with uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Rafi Ullah, who is one, uh, one of the leading fashion designer uh, in our field. And uh, I think so this uh, we can learn from him um, a lot and uh, let us uh, uh, transmit to our students and uh, the faculty, like how could we go into the movie side with these kind of fashion techno designing in, uh, uh, in your fashion designing. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. It's my honor to host this program in the presence of you, ma'am. It was indeed a wonderful addressing given by you, ma'am. Now I would I welcome upon Dr. S. Manivanan, Dean of Dr. M. J. Education and Research Institute, phase two, to deliver the facilitation address. Good evening to everyone. It's my pleasure in presenting felicitation address to this national webinar on Fashion and Movies, organized by Department of Fashion Design of Dr. MJR Educational and Research Institute, Adayalambar to Phase 2 campus. Hope this is the second successful event by the department and the hearty appreciations. I would like to thank our young and dynamic president engineer, A.C. Sarun Kumar sir, for his valued permission to organize this event in a grand manner. And it's my duty to reciprocate our gratitude to our eminent vice chancellor, Dr. S. Geeta Lakshmi, madam, who, uh, of course, uh, she is the real source of inspiration and we would strive hard to stand for your appreciation, madam. Uh, thanks for uh, joining us. Uh, and I uh, thank our eminent speaker of the day. Uh, before introducing our uh, chief guest, I must uh, ask a uh, uh, few of our audiences uh, listening to uh, listening in YouTube, especially Tamil uh, movie goers. Uh, can you name the stylish movie which you have seen uh, most of us, uh, we could remember the movie named Villa, um, uh, acted by our uh, beloved uh, Sri Ajit. And uh, this is a wonderful movie where uh, the, uh, you, you, you will be shown as, yeah, yeah, of course, he's a stylish person. You will be uh, shown as more stylish because of one and only the stylist and the designer, Mr. S.A. Rafi. And uh, I'm really glad that uh, he has joined our webinar to address our students as well as participants from all over the India. Uh, really, we are thankful to you, sir, to listen from you. Uh, of course, uh, in your talk, we request you to open uh, the uh, issues connected to the, as pointed out by our vice chancellor, the um, job opportunities connected to the fashion people in the movie industry also. Uh, I would like to thank him personally for accepting our invitation and being amongst us for sharing his valuable experience, of course, uh, his knowledge. I'm sure this webinar uh, will uh, uh, throw more light and uh, provide more insight on the topic and uh, fulfill the requirements of our beloved participants. And at this moment, I would like to appreciate the head of the department, uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Mehmuda Begum and uh, Director uh, Mr. Nadim, uh, Ms. Kalewani, Ms. Nandini Kuti for doing wonderful uh, work to the uh, department and as well as for to the university. 
uh, with these uh, few words let me finish my address and uh, uh, provide wait for the eminent speaker to address the gathering thank you one and all bye thank you sir for such a wonderful facilitation given by you now i would like to call upon our energetic leader mr n nadim director of iod to introduce about our chief guest a uh, good evening to all it has been very inspiring heads at the university dr njr university who are always kind enough to support our ideas and validate us and uh, right with the try kind of attitude and towards the fashion department and motivation given to us we will cherish and we will try to see the be the best department in india okay and welcome you all for this wonderful webinar in the name called fashion and movies for every as you know that every teachers dream is to make the their students the best okay for me as all you know that i started the institute of design in 1993 with the best team of faculties in place we were able to deliver the best fashion curriculum to our students since then today for every teacher it is honored moment to introduce his student as a guest to the other audience who are today available in this webinar okay i am proud to introduce my student rafiullah who had who has been a student in 1997 batch he is a very a uh, hard worker okay he stream to become very big okay he had worked endlessly without sleep and with lot of work pressure okay to get to make him available and showcase his talent to the world okay so he had been working as a fashion designer as a stylist and he is now a actor in the tamil movie industry okay i thank him for his hard to hard work which where is today we at dr mgr university want to bring the best people the peers who are in the industry to interact with our student community to make them as a icon in their lives to fulfill their dreams to become successful okay i would like to you to take a good example with mr rafi okay and right now put your questions shoot to him so that he can answer your good questions and please listen to him carefully so that you can be the next rafi okay presenting rafiula to all of you god bless you all thank you thank you sir for a very good introduction we welcome you sir hello everyone this is rafi here and thanks to one and all who have warmly welcomed me and it's been very good uh, to be in this kind of session and it's honor to be part of this event it's just not being a guest here uh, i would like to thank each and every one who has been working behind this uh, webinar and it's a proud moment for me to present myself here and uh, as my teacher my director nadim under whom i stepped into chennai to learn what fashion is all about is build me up to this uh, level so speaking about fashion and movies so the topic is all about fashion and movies so i think everyone uh, think fashion and movies is just about glamour it's about fame it's about uh, uh, it's about all butterflies what goes on but uh, truly it's not that if you seriously take this business you can reach into different places travel different places learn different languages learn different cultures so it's a, throughout the life you learn and fashion is nothing less than any other technical course what i have taken like i have in my family I have different uh, category of uh, people with different uh, education line so when i look at that i feel i'm happy with what i'm doing so it's like each and every student who's taken up this course should really put in the head and work on it and definitely it will pay back to you as nadim sir said uh, he knows how i started how i came up and where i'm sitting today and it's proud moment that uh, my teacher calling me to be a part of a guest uh, for some great event like this and it definitely makes proud to the teacher as well as the student who's learned from that and i would like to thank uh, nadim sir for always being a supportive person throughout my studies and even after my studies till date and film and uh, fashion of uh, uh, what are you call fashion and movies it's a very general uh, subject it's there is nothing uh, uh, really that you guys need to struggle and learn it but at the same time technical how strong your technical is very important movie industry is just like uh, it will just throw you out 
so it's not fun it is a serious business and movies and fashion it doesn't end over there it doesn't one end with the glamour it doesn't end with uh, just the title called movie so it's uh, the platform which you guys are studying fashion is not just for movies we have different uh, platforms so like if you look into fashion everybody think it's only getting into rap or getting into movies no you have uh, platforms like uh, print media and digital media so print media you have magazines you have uh, uh, newspapers articles uh, you have a lot of uh, platforms in print media and at the same time digital you have movies television uh, anything related like even youtube channels you have web series or anything so you guys will settle down somewhere and designer is just not a designer it's a, you can't end your subject at uh, just designing as you design you need to learn a lot of other characters by with, with whom you work for example movies digital media or print media everything is related with com- combination of many technicians we call them as technician even a designer is called a technician so technicians like uh, you have cinematographer who handles the camera you have art director who handles the complete backdrop of a uh, frame which has been visually shown then you have a director who direct directs or executes all the work together then you have a, a light man who takes care of lights you have a makeup team and hairstyle then you have costumes where we are into core subject of fashion but when it just comes into costume it doesn't mean the costume alone comes there you're supposed to look after the hairstyle you're supposed to look after the makeup everything so to be a good designer as a fashion designer you need to understand everything together you blindly can't get into a set and work as a designer you just can't throw some clothes on the person and say work why i say this is like you can't just throw clothes on somebody and say you wear this it's not a, it's not going to be like that it's a, you need to understand the cameraman you need to understand what lens he's using so this all comes based on your experience work with the technicians so it's not just going to be uh it's it's not uh, going to be a spoon uh, feeded uh, subject for you it's like it's uh, learning it's like learning on the field maybe as your subjects are going on you'll be learning uh, if i'm not wrong you'll be learning about uh, frames you'll be learning about uh, photography as a part of your uh, if it's part of your syllabus so this is all as a combination you learn a lot of things from this and i said i spoke about platforms magazines so there is a thin line uh, difference between designer and the stylist like as madam everybody referred uh, i'm known as a designer stylist and actor actor is a different position of my platform whereas uh, uh, stylist and designer it's a thin line of uh, balance designer what's designer designer is a person who completely create a garment from basic raw material basic raw fabric to a final garment like from designing styling I mean patterning the garment production of the garment and then putting on to a person styling is something which you just pull up from a rack with a multi brand you just go to a store you pick up a mix and match and put on a person that's called styling so designing and styling has a different uh, concept so that's why you can see some somebody's title with uh, just the stylist somebody's title with designer and uh, stylist so you guys studying fashion you will be uh, nominated as designer and you can be a stylist also so it's like designer and stylist together whereas a stylist can't be a designer if you're not qualified or you're not trained or you're not educated towards that standard of designing so very few people have come with their interest as a designer who have learned by their self learning i do i do have a lot of self learning which i've done my studies on history history of all costumes which i've done myself uh, i've traveled and i've learned i've studied cultures to understand and fashion doesn't end with uh, just sitting in a box and designing something you need to understand geography of a person's background where he's coming from what kind of culture he is uh, with a backdrop what uh, which location is going to geography means everything so you need to understand geography then design so same it comes to the movie also you should understand the geography of the movie where the movie is shot what kind of cam is been used who are the artist as uh, uh, gitamaram said to understand the person's personality the body 
what is structure whether the person can carry the garment or cannot the whether the person carry not only the garment the color the fit of the garment uh, the texture of the fabric everything plays a role we may think okay on on screen people will not understand what kind of fabric it is what kind of uh, material they use is it synthetic or natural fabric uh, is it what uh, even the color gradations if you don't understand what cam has been used you will lose in the color you think of some color you go there in the sets you put on a person and when it is shot you get a different color on the screen so that makes a lot difference between understanding the cam so if you understand the cam you will understand the uh, colors how to take the colors so everything matters in movie movie is not a small game and this all happens with a lot of experience and it's a lot of your self involvement it's not about what teachers are teaching you it's not about uh, uh, just learning from the book you need to do research a simple idea i give you you just take a fabric with some textures on it take your mobile switch on your cam just focus on the fabric who your cam and see what is the reflection of the fabric to your cam you'll understand what it is so these are like small experiments which we learned it's not just uh, Uh, what really I'm saying you, this is all practical things. What we have done, we do a lot of uh, uh, practices which are out of box, which technically uh, people who are from textile industry or fabrics or people who are dealing with fabrics or garment industry may not accept. So that's the difference between us people working in the field and uh, teaching uh, faculty. We did had a chat with the uh, faculty just a few minutes before. And I was just mentioning that, saying that okay, uh, there's a lot of difference between people working practically outside and people teaching in the institution. People teaching in institutions have a boundary line to teach, whereas we people working outside we have no boundaries. We speak out of boundaries. We speak out of box. We work out of box and do. And as per uh, movies, we don't have any boundaries. What is required for the movie? What is required for the screen? what is required for the cam what is required for the character what is required for the artist is taken care so it's like satisfying you need to satisfy many people in the set so it's not just the artist you need to satisfy the cameraman you need to satisfy the director you need to satisfy the artist then you have uh, art director who look into the color then you have uh, the producer end of the day you have uh, need to speak to the producer also who invest a lot of things on funding us to make things so everywhere you play important role as a designer so it's not uh, that you just blindly walk in with some clothes give them no it doesn't happen that way so everywhere even to the magazine so you don't think that the platform designer will just land up designing to a fashion uh, uh, fashion uh, ramp or if you are going to design for a celebrity no it's not like that i've done programs like called the champions if people have uh, seen on uh, tamil people must have noticed not only tamil it, uh, it was played in all the four languages in south it was done uh, produced by sun tv it was about handling uh, physically challenged differently different uh, different uh, differently able people with different challenges someone was blind someone was deaf and dumb someone was uh, completely limbless so our duty was to present them beautiful present them handsome present them cute present them the best they can look them look on screen because we can't show them what they are so it was a great challenge so don't ever think you know dreams that you'll only meet some models you'll meet celebrities to style them they are very fit people so it's not going to be like that and even movies it's not that you'll only design for the uh, hero heroine it's not like that You'll be designing for every uh, every kind of character in the book. So you you will be getting a person who's a hero. You'll have a person opposite to him who is just a even a roadside person in the character. So you need to tone down a person. So you need to have that uh, no, uh, idea of handling a character. So it's very interesting. And media has made us media personally to me. It has made uh, travel around the world. i don't say the country i've traveled around the world and i've uh, looked into different cultures and this doesn't happen if your interest is not there and today being on webinar uh, i could say that uh, 
it's more easy that now we have uh, online going on earlier it was only the sessions which will have with a limited people in a classroom today i think thousands of people are watching sitting in different parts of the world and like uh, country and uh, browsing and looking at uh, what i am speaking or somebody speaking what somebody is presenting so it's become easy to learn so it's all about every student's uh, interest towards not only student everybody even today i say that i've uh, i'm still learning not only teaching but i'm learning from the students uh, as we have a chat uh, i can't be outdated so to be on present track i need to follow today's life i need to follow today's uh, student what they are doing what they are digging up uh, what they are learning and where are they picking it up from and it's more of interactive sections which we have when it comes to uh, uh, classroom presentation so today being a webinar uh, we may not have that kind of uh, interaction with one to one like to understand what uh, doubts you have so once you maybe later you text me maybe i'll answer each and everything and about uh, travel and fashion is equivalent to learning and we never say that we have learned everything and uh, about uh, let me start with the uh, uh, camera point of view what fashion is all about camera point of view fashion is just nothing but a character how visually the character is looking at the camera will only take up will accept only uh, when i say camera it's a cameraman who's directing the cam to capture some uh, person or some object or something which he wants to visually present it somewhere so he he will only get satisfied when you really work towards the character so movies movies is like there are different platforms of movies movie doesn't mean it's a glamour as i mentioned earlier movie is about the movies biopics the movie based on uh, biopics of all real uh, life stories uh, like gandhi uh, then uh, you have uh, mangal pande or you you take a lot of movies made on so then you have a comedy which has no logic which has no logic in anything you play with color you play with the character everything so everything has to have a smile on your face so comedy gets into that then you have horror horror again has everything disfigured so even here garment plays major role fashion plays major role this figure is not only about makeup this figure is not only about hair style the garment where the person is carrying also makes lot importance in the this figure like if you take off uh, i don't know how many people have watched evil dead there was uh, when the movie was launched i don't know how many people have seen it but uh, our days i think uh, uh, 80s 90s kids uh, they were challenged to go and sit and watch evil dead in a movie hall alone and you'll be given a prize money so those uh, those kind of movies were made then you have uh, 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 what to say uh, uh, fiction movies then you have uh, there are different platform movies like even if you take up a uh, what to say art films they are more of realistic you don't get out of anything even from the smallest uh, uh, accessory on a person like jewelry or even a footwear is taken care with so detail that okay the person has to be very realistic and it should be like uh, it's more mostly done for the uh, festivals all these kind of things like you people will get into fit into those kind of uh, you need to understand and then only you fit into that uh, product to make i mean to say product making is like movie making or any uh, web series today we are, we are very fond of web series then we are very fond of uh, television serials reality shows so designers can get in anywhere and learning other subjects apart from designing also is very important like i have learned makeup and hair style uh sometimes i do hair style and makeup also to the artist it's not that uh, only the makeup and and the hair style should do uh stylish to do it so when i know it i do it so it's like people from fashion industry should be well versed about any subject related to fashion and of late if i've uh, seen lot of institution when we get in i see students give very least importance to pattern making whereas pattern making garment construction you people just illustrate sketch the sketching is a 
backbone equivalent it's like a rib okay rib bone so it's like even one bone is missing can you stand no it's not possible right all the rib bones should be placed ordered wise so every step every bone or maybe easy way i can say you when you are getting into a multi story building will you prefer to take a lift today's today's pandemic situation or will you take a staircase i think we'll all prefer to go by staircase because lift can be infected so when you take by staircase if every floor has a door will you like to open and see definitely i think if i'm there i'll open and see to understand which floor is better so it's always better to go step by step learning the foundation from pattern uh, pattern uh, sketching to pattern making or tailoring what are you call i don't mind people calling me tailor also sometimes when i walk in people doesn't understand what term they should mention me they call me tailor i said okay i do accept because i am also a tailor i don't mind so it it will take some ages for people to understand that fashion designer designing is nothing but it's you are nominated as a designer but uh, general public think it's only tailoring when my family when i wanted to do they just thought i'm uh, i'm going to do my tailoring so today when i'm reached to this place they are very proud just being a fashion designer this has turned me to be an actor today so if you don't stop you'll reach places if you don't stop learn you'll you'll travel if you don't stop and learn you can achieve anything so there is no end for this industry so i had a chat with your uh, other faculty also and i think your director and chairperson also they asking how is the industry working now so a lot of students might have doubts now like how are our placements will it work for us now at this pandemic situation how is the industry getting there going to get normal or not industry will definitely get normal garments are day to day kind of needs so it will never end and we can't stop wearing clothes we can't stop trying new things on ourselves so there's nothing fear for us to worry about like are we not doing some wrong subject are we not learning wrong subject no it's not that it's not that only if you learn medicine you can grow it's not that if you've been engineer you can grow it's not that fashion is also equivalently growing and i can frankly say it's day to day need and it's better than what other subjects or other people are doing so the risk of your placement is very less than that you'll always be placed if you're a very good student if you're a very good person who can create something beautiful and it's not necessary that you depend on somebody to get you a job i am not placed in any job i started my own i started my work with 3000 rupees a monthly uh, revenue what i was making getting from the market i started uh, designing for a small boutique so i was just paid 3000 it was in 97 when i passed out from uh, the institute so i took it very positively it's okay 3000 will do for me so it doesn't uh, it, it never pushed me back and uh, today uh, i'm i'm well i'm very happy that what i have done i've tra- traveled i've uh, moved forward i've learned a lot of things and every stage i've shared and i've gained also as i shared i learned a lot of things from the students and other teaching faculty and other colleagues of mine and i don't hesitate to say that if i don't know something i'll say i don't know there's nothing wrong sometimes students have corrected and i'm very proud that uh, sometimes i meet better students than me like uh, nadim sir said i want everybody to be rafi i'm happy that he mentioned that and uh, one day I, i want to say that i have a lot of students whom i want to be like they are very good illustrators uh, the students teaching in uh, there's one student teaching in school of paris in paris uh, who went to study after finishing uh, her nift in chennai who was one of my student and i'm very proud that uh, when she calls me that okay sir i'm teaching here i'm this i'm that and there's a student who's working in uh, hyundai so fashion will not end only with the uh, garment industry people can design accessories accessories on person accessories on your automobile accessories on your uh, gadgets can be part of your uh, industry people who can see if people want to uh, look at my instagram uh, can look at at rafiulla 78 will know what all i do apart from my fashion also so i do my carpentry i do my uh, hairstyle everything is mentioned in there with the images so it's like uh, fashion 
is only a base for you what institution is teaching is just a base so to more of that is all your uh, interest so it's a movie movie uh, movie industry will take you if they found you you are multi talented today movies uh, movies or television or web series or magazine is taking me is only because i have multi talent in me so they call they say okay when they call me for a discussion when i go speak i said this is what i need this is what we'll do this is what we'll work on the artist i don't just speak about the garment i speak about the makeup i speak about their looks i speak about their backdrop for example if you want to if you want me to mention some uh, beautiful uh, super hits that were given uh, manmadrasa song from uh, uh, tera tedi movie for dhanush the song location song uh, uh, kind of uh, direction everything was taken care by me the coordination for the whole song was taken care by care of uh, care by me then there was one more neck, uh, second song which i got a super hit for uh, uh, sharath kumar which i did arjun arjun song from a movie which we shot at uh, talukri falls it was one of the most erotic song of those days for that category of uh, artist so it's how open minded you fight for your uh, your thinking your thoughts and being from fashion industry first learn how to be broad minded in a positive way don't be very narrow minded and don't think about opposite person what he's going to take you opposite person is not a designer first thing understand the opposite person is not a fashion industry person so it will take for the opposite person to understand what fashion is all about and what you're trying to explain i debate with my teacher nadim sir knows how i used to debate in the campus the first 3 months of the college i was like mom i come from a different category of schooling i come from a kalki bhagwan's ashram with a kurta pajama in a ashram proper ashram it was in a forest uh, 250 kilometers from chennai city brought up with no outside uh, world touched from my third standard to 10th standard it is completely 8 uh, years of ashram life and only plus one plus two which i had a neighboring uh, school college where i went and study but completely coming to city it was entirely a different platform but three months it took for me to understand what fashion is all about how can i how can i explore how can i speak about it and how will i convince other people around me? but today i am actually a better convincer so than better designer i can say first you should do uh, the pr your pr should be very strong you should defend your yourself very strongly if you're right on your fashion elements what you are going to present to any opposite person then only you hold your client your client can be a producer artist it can be a magazine uh, celebrity it can be magazine writer it can be uh, any kind of person today you have a lot of youtubers you have a lot of uh, short film makers so you have a lot of opportunities so you can get yourself placed anywhere so even for a small photo shoot today they need a stylist and designer so you can uh, go as a freelancer so i work as a freelancer with uh, sun tv i work as freelancer as vijay tv now i've got into z so the platform is given the platform is created by yourself you don't need to depend on anybody's uh, placement you are in a technical line first understand it's a technical subject which you are learning you are not in a normal uh, day to day subjects which you are learning so it's not that you're going to in a white collar job where you're going to sit in office you know, in front of a system you're going to uh, type some uh, documents it's not at all that even if you buy a machine at home you can be a designer you buy a machine at home put it there you create your garments you can display it somewhere you can sell it online so this uh, pandemic is given us a uh, very great opportunity to understand online uh, platform online business so there is no end for anything and it's a creative subject which you are learning and uh, it will land up you in a better place if you put your all interest so whatever it is never end your subject here fashion will not end what uh, institute is teaching institute is giving you basic foundation after this it's all about you so if people who have browsed or seen who i was uh, if nadim sir remembers me it's like i was named as jew trophy there was a magazine those days printed where i was mentioned as jew trophy because i created complete handmade garment and uh, the whole garment was uh made by hand there was no machine stitches on it it was completely knotted it was completely hand stitched fine garments made 
and there was a show which i competed with uh, 14 different designers with uh, different institutions and i went i won the best award so it was a proud moment for me like okay people have come with a, uh, better institutions or better trained institutions and uh, could it create what i was creating it was all my interest it was all support which i had from the institutions which i learned from and i created it so it's all about like fashion will not end with uh, what people are teaching you and uh, it's it's a uh, it's it's a it's a very beautiful journey it's a very beautiful journey and as i said earlier also glamour it's a glamour industry uh, it's one part of glamour industry the other part of industry is like you have different kind of client so i have clients uh, corporate clients we have we have i have co- corporate clients also uh, for example uh, i had designed for one corporate person I had designed for one institution uh, chairperson also. Uh, so you may think, uh, what will you design for an institution chairperson? What will you design for a corporate person? For a, a small uh, example, I'll give you a corporate person meeting an IT uh, professional. What kind of dress code he'll go in? IT, I mean to say, if income tax people or auditing people comes in. What kind of dress code? Why does he need a dress code? Uh, dress code also plays an important role. when the person sitting opposite looks at you if you're wearing a suit if you're wearing a com- complete formal wear and sitting in a office and if you in, uh, expect your uh, ed, uh, end labor of your office end employee of your office to come and speak comfortably to you he'll never speak it's only because of your dress code and your chair you're sitting and if you wear the same very simple clothing and walk out of your cabin stand somewhere the same person will speak to you very comfortably it's all about your mind play on with your dress code to a person whom you are reflecting the same way if it is a institutional person you if you think or oh, i've done for a one medical uh, institution uh, chair person so he wanted like okay i'm going to have a seminar with uh, the freshers coming into the campus what kind of dress code do you think so i had to give him which can suit the age group of those category of students who are coming in freshers are just people who have just come into the campus after the plus 2 so they would prefer somebody who can gel up to there okay if they feel feel that the chair person is going to gel with their character gel with their mindset they'll have very positive thought towards the institution saying that okay our chair person is very comfortable i can reach him or her at times when i need to and we don't feel that difference that okay he's very elderly person or he's very mature person that we couldn't uh, convince our thoughts to him and the same person have the uh, style in very formal way where he addresses his doctors why doctors he has to be informal it's like doctor life is different doctors have passed out they've traveled all the journey to understand what they're doing so this is why i'm speaking about this this is no way related to movies but when i work for movies all these characters work for me so what i have done in movies i have carried forward to the real life also there's a balance of real and real life so what you carry in real life what i try to show there i have put in i have designed for hospital uh, staff also so what i design in movies i have shown to these people okay why can't your hospital be more stylish so there is a uh, convincing character in the movie character in the real life so it's all about your play it's all about your play how you put on so it's not only that, that physically somebody is only shown on visually on the uh, screen i have taken lot of uh, references from the movie to the real life real life to the movie so it's like this is a combination movie is not about glamour at all forget about glamour what you see on songs is just for few seconds few minutes when you look at real movies real movies real movies are like epics epic movies realistic which are there even after 50 years or 100 years people rewind and look like for example cleopatra i think how many students have seen i don't know if you want to see in see the work done in those days how the work is done so how people have taken forward so it's like even today we refer that for example today's life bahubali it will remain for lifetime every language it's a super hit why the characters were designed and don't tell me that it's only the director behind it it's not only the director it is team of people in the team of people even a designer is involved the designer can be part of costumes can be part of jewelry accessories on the person can be part of art department also 
to do the sculptures on the wall it's not necessary say i am good at pattern making i am good at uh, fine line of clothing today what you are seeing me on screen is this is just simple clothing this is what i like even on screen if you see me i have styled myself but i have maintained myself very simple so which our uh, television programs have done the movie have done i have carried only with a very simple character so i have presented myself so when i get into my work into movies i'll only carry the simple character like for example i've done uh, movies like uh, like sir referred i've done uh, villa 2 ajit is already a stylish person the initial stage of the movie where i have to tone down a person toning down mr ajit to a very low level as a refugee is highly impossible but we have done it how did we do it makeup is one part of it then costumes his footwear will it ca- carry forward and his atmosphere around him his friend circle around him we designed characters each and every character around him not only to sober down him to the characters around him and if you see that movie we carried step by step from then we travel to different place then we travel to goa then we showed him in a different way then we travel to russia georgia we showed him in a different way and we met different other characters there so how can we balance how can we keep up the weight of a person weight of a person i'm saying there's one character whom you need to highlight and keep at the same time there's the opposite character how, how much you need to highlight him you need to balance the character so this is all part of your designers not about director only when you are experienced you speak about it then director accepts when you really need to work these projects you need to get that experience and placements you guys can uh, log in and see you got lot of placements a lot of short films are happening you can guys get into it so maybe once uh, uh, if anybody interested can follow on instagram and just look into it so there is uh, nothing to think over question me on anything i'll share on it so education is very important what are your learning have to be very serious learning give importance to every subject is been taught in the campus because once you are out of your campus you will not have that support whether at the campus you can do your trial and error once you walk out in your work life there is no trial and error you do one error you are thrown out of it movie industry is like that media industry is like that one error you do you are just put out and industry will take you in a very uh, positive way if you are very rightly presented yourself if you do one mistake the same way the, the reflection will be very opposite they will just throw you to nowhere so there are thousands of designers passing out right so there are very few working in industry so it's it's understood why only few working how much interest you put i work day and night i work day and night so it's not that even 100 garments needed for the shoot next day i say i'll do it when i say i'll not do it there's somebody else to do it so that's your challenge you'll face lot of challenges and this pandemic i think for this pandemic uh, situation uh particularly students who are studying in this pandemic situation will be best students because they know how to manage this disaster disaster in the sense the learning also online not going to regular campus is a disaster right when you learn online you will not have that comfort maybe when you go to campus you have so much of discussion head on a discussion right one to one discussion when i'm speaking there will be discussion going behind is this person speaking right is this person doing fine is this person t- telling right So it's all there. So there are a lot of platforms in media. So you guys can come. So there's no only. It's not only. It doesn't end only with movie. Magazines are there. Television is there. Uh, print media is there. Print media in the sense not only magazines. Even what the holdings you see outside. Uh, ad films are there. Web series are there. Television serials are there. Reality shows are there. Then one to one design design studios you can get to on. Uh, corporate lines are there. Uh, institution lines are there uniforms are there uniforms is a good business so it's a large scale business so even that is there there are a lot of students of mine who have passed out and started their units with uh, only for uniforms like uniforms in the sense don't think that you are only doing industrial uh, uniforms no you have uh, uh, airlines you have uh, travel agencies which need uniforms you have hotel industries which need uniforms so uh, hospitals Uh, there's this there's no end for uh, garment industry so never be scared about uh, fashion industry at all never be scared there's no end for fashion industry so there is a uh, cycle there can be downfall but it will pick up immediately 
So you need to balance that cycle. How will you balance that cycle? Your savings on your work. So you not overload your work. At the same time, you'll save your work for some further. So it's a balanced cycle. You balance your cycle. Same way. See, when this pandemic, there is no movies happening. So how do I balance my cycle? So I had my other works going on. So I'm not working only for movies. I work for television. I work for web series. I work for uh, magazines. I work for a lot of other scales of uh, customers, clients. So it's like I have balanced everywhere. So it's it's been great working and being good. It's nice to be as a designer. Okay, so I think uh, I'll end with this. And people have any questions to ask, please ask so that I can explain on point to point. Thanks for all the patience having so long waiting and listening to me. Hope this session had a interesting understanding about my media and the designer's job. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, sir. It was a very creative and useful session for our participants. Now moving on to with some questions for you from our participants. So one participant has asked you that, what are the qualities required for a fashion designer and its career? See, qualities. Qualities is first thing, creative. Anytime a object or subject is given to you, uh, object, I mean a character, a person, personality is come to you. How do you understand him? Okay, that is most important. To understand him, to understand his needs. That's very important. And being very creative. You need to be out of box to think as a creative person. See, whether the person is wearing or not wearing is a secondary. There is, again, there is something wearable and non-wearable garments. Wearable and non-wearable, when I mention that, wearable is like day-to-day -day life garments, which are accepted by general public, general people, general audience, general day-to-day uh, -day people looking at. Then non-wearable, what you see on screen, what you see with very few segment of people using it. It can be only for the ramp show, it can be only for certain events, like red carpet events, it can be for uh, ramp shows, it can be for... Uh, particular, like for example, I'll tell you, uh, Vodafone had a uh, creature created. That is created by a stylist or it can be created by art director or a designer creating a character that can't be worn and walked out. That is only meant for the character to register. For example, uh, uh, the Colgate ad, the ad where the person smiles, showing his teeth. The person is not handsome. The person is a character. How do you design the character? His hairstyle, the smile he had, the way he looked. It was not necessary that a beautiful model comes and smiles. So the, selecting the character from a character who is coming to you is important. So these are the categories which you need to understand that, okay, you need to be very creative to understand a person's personality and accept that, pull it out and present it. So if you do this, it will be there. And you need to be a very good illustrator. Not good, a good illustrator. And you should have very good foundation of uh, pattern making. Understand pattern making. This is technical pattern making. And illustration is a technical which I'm speaking. And color balance. You should understand what color balance is. You should understand uh, fabric balance. What is fabric balance? When you blend fabrics, two different fabrics, three different fabrics, and color also, when you do mix in many colors on together, will it? Like for example, I'll show you. Joker as a joker with multicolors is okay for showcasing in performing in a circus. You can't get the same thing onto a, a regular life. So you are convincing people where. So you should understand the person's personality, geography of the person, what he's asking for. So it's all, this is all about understanding. It's all about understanding. But technically, illustrations, pattern making, uh, color balance, fabric balance, understanding the fabric quality, uh, sourcing, very importantly, sourcing. Where do you source your raw material? If you're very good in sourcing, then everything works out easy for you. And uh, pattern making, I mentioned that you don't depend on your masters or you don't master, I meant a detailer, the person who cuts it, the local term master. Uh, so what are we called? So that's how you understand. 
So these are the few elements which you need to keep in mind when you are need to be a very good uh, designer. Any next question if you want to ask? So what motivated you to choose this field, sir? Okay. <laughs> what motivated me to choose this field? See, as usual, every youngster looking at uh, uh, looking at me or uh, looking at any other designer or looking at any visual uh, day to day uh, images which are coming in magazines or everything may have interest but for me it was entirely a different uh, thought first thing i never thought i'll land up in uh, fashion as more of automobile uh, automobile designing but i was very poor in uh, physics and mathematics i don't mind uh, probably saying that i was uh, very very poor okay but i was very good in art art in the sense i was very good in finger painting uh, drawings so when my parents uh, asked me what i want to do i said automobiles and uh, when i tried for automobiles i was not getting into it because physics and mathematics was playing major role so i thought okay let me try something else so there was an art which was supporting me so when i came to chennai i thought okay let me try something new here so there was a option of fine arts uh, college or should i get into fine arts or should i get into visual design so when i went on to visual it was more of computer based which i really hate but i've done my visual also it was one one box sitting and you sit at a box and you work so i was not comfortable with it so i thought okay what should i do then and i thought okay let me try something else which was more interested also uh frankly saying styling uh, women was more interesting for me so i thought okay why don't i try so which my parents were against it so i said no no let me try and see so which i walked into an institution which i liked it and it was more convincing to me so i said okay i'll do fashion and visual together so i was uh, allowed to do both the courses together so i did both the courses and uh, it pulled me in and i never looked behind after that and i never felt shy about doing anything after that so including haircut which i did and i had comments on it but today i'm happy that people have commented me to make me more stronger than pushing me back so every negative comment made me stronger to do it i said why the hell they're saying that i should do it and i'll do it and everywhere i felt the motivation of self motivation was there for me and, uh, it was quite of interesting i like i like styling people and especially women i like it's not because of glamour it's not about uh, women it's about uh, uh, it was larger platform for to experiment comparing to men but today uh, men also have come up with uh, uh, styling themselves very differently and uh, i have styled also that way to a lot of men for example i have done uh, adi bhagwan movie where we have a uh, dual character the second character of uh, uh, jaim ravi where we have presented him a gayish look so that was interesting for me to do understanding a person and i have lot of transgenders whom i have styled them uh, who have gone for uh, miss transgender south india who have gone for miss india also who has won miss india uh, 2017 and uh, who's gone for miss uh, uh, asia specific this year because of pandemic it's uh, pending if i'm not wrong so we have styled them so it's interesting see when you rightly take this subject i don't find uh, any shy in about working it so i enjoy it uh, styling and designing and uh, it's been interesting for me so the motivation is like i've started uh, styling my mom with basic sarees my cousins with the haircut styling everything with makeup from them and i've been learning from my uh for uh, i think from my 11th standard that pulled me always as a second sub- secondary subject and that became my uh, primary <laughs> thank you thank you sir now i would like to welcome upon mrs m mahmuda begum head of the fashion design department to uh, give our chief guest his uh, appreciation letter thank you sir for sharing about the knowledge about fashion and movies to our participants and students as well uh kindly accept the appreciation letter which is displayed on the screen for accepting our invitation within a short period in your busy schedule thank you so much sir thank you
maybe you can mail me that uh, if you can sure sure i'll be sending you by whatsapp as well as the mail sir and uh, sorry we had very short time so i could explain or speak very less maybe with uh, one to one uh, on campus maybe we will look have more better sure we'll yes. do it sir the interaction with the students is missing here much i know there will be lot of students who are hesitating to ask online texting mm-hmm. is a big issue so if it is on the we'll on top as possible on the college we open sir we'll definitely Hope it was interesting and uh, hope it was uh, knowledgeable. Yeah, actually sharing. everyone enjoyed it. There was a very good feedback coming out by our participants. Okay, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. I hope all the doubts are being cleared. The feedback link will be provided in the chat box. Now I would like to address today's vote of thanks. Good evening to one and all present here. On behalf of Dr. M J R Education and Research Institute. i take this opportunity to propose the vote of thanks to those who have joined for today's webinar fashion and movies organized by our institute a heartfelt thanks to our founder chancellor ac shanmugam our honorable president engineer ac arun kumar for accepting our request for conducting this program a special thanks to our vice president dr m k patmanabhan vice chancellor dr s geeta lakshmi and our pro vice chancellor dr ravi chandran we would also like to thank our eminent provost dr g gopalakrishnan our registrar dr c b palni velu joint registrar dr malini pande a special thanks to our joint registrar phase 2 dr s ramalingam dean s manivarnan and deputy dean dr v n rajavarman for their encouragement i would also like to thank mr n nadeem director of iod and hod ms mehmuda begum of fashion design department for her motivation a special thanks to our chief guest mr s a rafiola for sharing his creative talents to our participants thank you sir as we have come to the end of this webinar i would like to thank to all my participants for participating in this program i hope you all enjoyed this session so until we meet next time with an extra on the webinar till then it's nandini signing off